you like free shit? Of course you like free shit. We all like free shit. The Epic Games launcher has been giving out a ton of paid games for free. So welcome back to a series I like to call Epic. Win or loss. Just to fully catch you up, there's a ton of games that I actually haven't reviewed, but I want to review the games they're giving out as they're giving them out. From now on, I'm only gonna cover games that come out each week they come out. First game we have on the chopping block, Ukulele. Ukulele is an all new open world platformer from genre veterans Platonic. Explore huge, beautiful worlds, meet and be an unforgettable cast of characters. A vault load of shiny collectibles as a buddy duo, Yuka, the green one, and Laylee, the wisecracking bat with a big nose, embark on an epic adventure to thwart corporate creep capital B and his devious scheme to absorb all the world's books Oh no! and convert them into pure profit. Using their arsenal of special moves, our heroes will tackle a huge variety of puzzles and platforming challenges in their search for pages. The golden bounty used to unlock and expand stunning new worlds, each jammed to the gills with oddball characters, hulking bosses, minecart challenges, arcade games, quiz shows, multiplayer games, and much more. And with all that said, it's boring. For me, maybe I spoiled myself with games like Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot, and Mario Odyssey, but this game just didn't do it for me. The dialogue is a chore to get through and it should have been fully voiced, not the budget Animal Crossing version that they came out with. But you see, in Animal Crossing, it's charming because it's a character-based slower game. This is a platformer. It looks very good, and most times it's gorgeous, but it takes way too long to get to the fun stuff. It suffers from telling and not showing, meaning the game locks you in long as boring conversations, telling you how to do things when it just needs to show you as you're playing. I would recommend this for kids. Kids would really love this. I really thought that this game was going to be the best out of the bunch, but sadly, it's a miss for me. It left me bored out of my mind. The dialogue and the tutorial alone bumped this score from a six to a four. Four out of 10. Horizon Turbo Chase. Horizon Turbo Chase is a racing game inspired by the greatest hits of the 80s and 90s. It recreates classic arcade gameplay and offers you unbound speed limits of fun. It's a mobile game on PC. That's what it feels like. There was nothing interesting here. I don't like it. When we have games like Asphalt and Real Racing on, on mobile, I do enjoy racing games, but I'm gonna need a little bit more than this. 3 out of 10. Void Bastards. Forget everything you know about first person shooters. Void Bastards ask you to take charge, not just point your gun and fire. Your task is to lead the ragtag Void Bastards out of the Sargasso Nebula. You make the decisions where to go, what to do, and who to fight. And then you must carry out that strategy in the face of strange and terrible enemies. On board derelict spaceships, you'll plan your mission, taking notes of the ship's layout, what hazards and enemies you might encounter, and what terminals and other ship systems you can use to your advantage. Move carefully through the dangerous ships, searching for supplies and manipulating control systems. React to what you find. Will you detour to the generator to bring the power back online? Or will you fight your way into the security module to disable the ship's defenses? Navigate your tiny escape pod through the vast nebula. Flee from void whales and pirates. And politely avoid the hungry hermits. All the while, you must keep scavenging for the food, fuel, and other resources that'll keep you alive. Void Bastards features a 12 to 15 hour campaign that you can complete with an endless supply of prisoners, each with their own unique traits. When one dies, another steps forward to carry on the fight. Don't worry though, as any crafting progress you've made is retained from one to another. It's a roguelike comic book style looter shooter with a bit of humor. I'm all in. This one is great. You can do whatever you want. Loot to keep going and try not to die. And this game doesn't really hold your hand. If it says there's an enemy you can't handle, you probably can't. Notice how I said probably. In some cases, you can find clever ways to dispose of your enemies. And it actually looks like you're playing out of the pages of a comic book. This one is a solid eight out of 10. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. Did you get these? Did you play these? Will you play these? Why you play these? I'm out. I'm the enemy